What's up guys, it's Nate here from Banjo Built. Today we're going to be showing you how to replace the expansion valve on an 08 Acura TL. Uh, it's a pretty similar situation for a TSX if you have to do the same thing. And it'll pretty much let you get to the uh, evaporator as well. So if you need to get to the evaporator you can do this. If you need to get to the expansion valve, which we need today, uh, this will all be the exact same process. Uh, over here you're going to have our glove box, so what you're going to do is remove the glove box just like that. Um, just kidding, it's not that easy. I wish it was. Uh, there's going to be two little tabs here on the bottom, so you got the right side and the left side. And there's going to be a little rod that comes out as well right here. Uh, so you'll open the glove box, unhook this from the right side, which will be right here. And then you'll remove the two screws right there, which are the two screws that hold this. And this joint right here, you'll take the glove box, put it in the back or somewhere else, not on the car. Uh, and then you'll have this plastic piece right here that goes on just like that. So what you're going to end up doing is you'll have these two bolt holes right here. You'll take the bolts out of that and this piece over here on the right side you're going to get your fingers behind it and you're going to pry up on it a little bit so you'll get uh, kind of like kind of like this you'll just get up there like that and pull on it so you're going to have this tab right here and i think that's it that's the only thing that holds that in there is that it's going to be that little tab uh, the other thing you're going to need to do to pull this off, um, you'll do the same thing with the left side. So it's got two clips right here, or actually three clips. Uh, one, two, and three. That'll be on the left side, and you'll have a couple clips up top as well, right here and right here. So uh, once you get to the point where you have pulled out these other plastic clips that go in these holes so one right there and one right there they look like this you just push in the center and then take like a flathead and pull out on the sides uh, they're pretty simple I didn't know that's how they worked so I broke the first one but the second one I figured it out uh, yeah, you just push it in and then you can pry up on the sides and pull it out um, this one is slightly broken Actually, I might not have, yeah, I did break it. I just broke that tip off. Uh, so don't do that. Definitely uh, push that center piece in right there. You just, you want to take like a flathead or a Phillips or something small enough that'll go in there and then push that in. Uh, let's see. Oh, the other thing, you'll have this piece on the bottom. Uh, this just chills right under here. Literally, you just take it, pull it out like, don't be afraid to be kind of rough with it. It's just clips. Uh, and then you'll have this connected to here. Um, this top one was connected to where it says, where it's got your trunk switch. Not really sure what it's for, but that's connected to this right here. Right there. So it's just connected to that. You pull that off. Once all that's off, you'll have this bar right here that you need to pull out. So I've already loosened the screws, and that's where we're at right now. All right, so once you got these screws taken out, uh, you'll have this clip right here and this white clip right here. You'll need to get those out to pull this all the way off. Um, and then you'll pull this out, take these uh, wires, kind of just move them out the way. You might have to unplug. Actually, no, you won't have to unplug anything as far as I can remember, um, at least up until this point. So you'll just pop these out. This little guy over here slides up and should come out. Push that out. And then we'll be able to get to our blower motor, which will also have to come out as well. Uh, the evaporator is back up in here along with the uh, expansion valve I keep wanting to say uh, orifice tube but that's not what it is but the expansion valve is back there um, and that's what we're going to be pulling out once you get all the uh, clips out and the screws out it should look like this look like that 
that's just gonna sit there it's out of the way this will just kind of I guess like that it's not really anywhere it needs to go uh, but then we'll get under here I'll we'll disconnect this connector for the blower motor take this and uh, there's a clip right here we'll just pull on that it comes off like that and then we'll take this whole wire shove it off to the side uh, if you guys ever need to replace your cabin air filter that's gonna be this piece right here so you can just replace that um, that's a whole nother video actually not even really that's the same video pull that up that's pretty dirty so I should probably replace that too while I'm in here uh, but I'll get to that here probably once I'm done with everything else um, you're gonna have to pull out this bolt right back here behind this green connector you also have to disconnect that green connector you have a bolt down there bolt here on the right side um, I want to say there's another one like way back under here under everything I can't see it I want to say it's just those four if there's more I'll let you know all right so there's one extra bolt right or not I guess right back there yeah I get that off to pull this whole blower motor out Okay, so we just got this uh, blower motor out with the top piece as well. It's gonna be a little tough. If you can reach this bolt or this nut that's here, by all means do it. If not, just you're just gonna have to wiggle it out and pull it straight down and hopefully it comes out. I couldn't get to that bolt, which is like, that's not even a bolt, it's a nut. If you're looking in here, it would be right up in this hole right here. But it's covered by some insulation so you'd never be able to see it but it's all the way up here in like never never land that's what it is so i probably won't even put that back on there honestly but we'll see but we got a little more room now to what we're going to be working with right here uh and that is going to be the uh evaporator right there so all right so I've been looking at this for a little bit. Uh, you'll have to move this white box right here out of the way. There's gonna be two uh, self-tappers that go in right here and then a third one up here. You're gonna have to pull all those out to pull this off. Um, Cause there's another self-tapper. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. Probably not. Yeah, right back there. You can just barely see it poking out right there on the tip of my finger you'll need to get to that there's some down here on the bottom one two there's another one way back there i'm not sure if that one we're gonna have to pull out yet but we will see i hope we don't have to because uh, that one's gonna be pain in the butt so right next to the carpet there's one up top right here another two over here on the top right um yeah, we're gonna have to pull all that out. You can see the tube right there for the uh, uh, the evaporator. Ow. But yep, that's what it's looking like. We're gonna have to do. It's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. But you know what? You do it. You get it done. You'll be a better person afterwards. I promise you. You would have learned patience. All right, so I got most of the screws out. Uh, there's gonna be another one right back in here. It is a pain in the butt to get to. Uh, you're gonna need a longer screwdriver. It's gotta be thin, but still, you know, a good size to put in there. Uh, if you can get a wrench, or sorry, not a wrench, but a ratchet and a socket, it's a nine mil. All these self-tappers are nine mils, so if you can get something in there, that works too um, you will need something at least I don't know three inches so uh, four inches would be a little better five inches would probably be best if you can get in quarter uh, inch drive you should be set and especially if you have a deep socket you should be perfect uh, but now that I got all of the screws on the inside taken out uh, I'm going to go into the engine bay and we have to disconnect the bolt from the expansion valve on the engine bay side 
That way we can remove this box because it actually goes inside of this box just a little bit. So we're gonna jump to there right Let's about get now. That one out. There's also one more inside right there. Uh, you also have to pull that out so you can remove this whole box. Uh, it's pretty similar to the TSX. So if you have a TSX, uh, this is very, very similar uh, with only like minor differences, but they both come apart pretty much the same way. So uh, I know there's no TL specific video out there, but that's why I'm making this. That way y'all can see how this is all exactly done. A little different, but basically the same thing. All right, so here in the engine bay, uh, we're gonna move off uh, some of these plastic covers. So I pulled this plastic cover off, pull this one off by taking this little tab right here, right, so that right there, and push it out, push this towards you, and this whole thing should just pop up, just like that. Put it over to the side. And that should help you be able to get to the bolt that is, I don't even know if you can see it from here. So right behind this right here, you can barely see the edge of that bolt. But uh, that's what we're gonna be taking out. And we're gonna pull these lines back. But before you do that, you're gonna wanna come over here to where your high and low side bracket is at. Pull this undo that uh, let's see and we have one more right down here that we're gonna hit as well I want to say both of those are 10 mil roughly but you're gonna loosen those up so that way you can move both of these lines back and out of the way uh, if cruise control is in the way for you uh, you can move that as well right here so you got to Another bolt right there, another 10 mil, and another 10 mil right there. So you can move that if you need to. Uh, not that big of a deal. But, all right, we're gonna get to it. All right, so you're gonna need some sort of concoction uh, to get it, to get that bolt out on the firewall side. Uh, it is a 10 mil. I'll show you just in case you don't believe me. 10 mil, right there. And 100% you will need a swivel socket. If you have some long extensions, like say like a foot and a half long extension to a swivel socket or to a U-joint uh, to the socket, or yeah, if you do have a swivel socket, like the actual tool, um, that'll make this a lot easier. Uh, if you don't have anything like that and it gets stuck right there, the way that is, uh, <clears throat> you go over to O'Reilly's pick up one of these little magnets uh, it has a light so if you turn this man it's a little messed up so I might not be able to turn it but anyways you turn it it'll have a little light on the end so you get them over there video is not sponsored by O'Reilly's so that would be pretty neat though but it's not so we're just gonna go in there take my little magnet got that Pull it right out. Right now that part's good to go. So we'll just get this pulled out and this other one over here somewhere right there. And then uh, we'll wiggle that stuff out the way and go back inside and get that box out. All right, so I know we talked about taking this bolt out and you can take either one of these out. I decided to take that one out instead of this one right here. But there is a third bolt you may have to take out, which is a little farther down, right there. Um, it'll just give you a little more wiggle room when you go to pull these out. Uh, so from here, everything is pretty much ready to go. So you can kind of yank on the lines, pull them back a little bit. If you get your arm in there and you're not just so buff, you know, like you can fit them back there. I could barely touch them. Uh, then you'll be able to pull that out. And you should be good to go. Because I could just barely reach it, man. So I may actually end up having to pull this cruise control out. Like, for real. Because I'm just too big, man. Too small. All the gains. So. 
All right, so I took the cruise control and just kind of pushed it down a little bit. Oh, get the sunlight. So I took off the bolt that was back here, and then there's another one that holds it somewhere over here. But you'll see it. Uh, you'll just pop those two off, just kind of push this down. Then you can get your big buff arms in here, because I know all y'all are buff all the gains and you'll just pull on this make sure you grab both of the lines and you're kind of putting equal pressure on both so you're not bending them or anything like that but then you can kind of see your expansion valve right back there so right behind that you'll be able to see your expansion valve right back there uh, that's literally what this these two lines connect to so right back there uh, now we're gonna go inside and pull that plastic piece out all right, we're back inside the car, so this should just be able to wiggle itself out. Provided we got all the screws and everything uh, undone, should do the same for you. It'll take a little bit of persuasion, but just like that, that'll be out of the way for you. Look at that, we gotta get right there. It's gonna suck. Uh, you could probably go ahead and disconnect this plug. Probably should have done that earlier, but didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. But it's not really bothering me that it's just kind of hanging out. So, uh, but yep. All right. So once you got that black little box that was chilling right here out of the way, and you got your plug disconnected from it. Oh, that's the wrong plug. Uh, where did it go? It's that four pin plug, actually. Yeah, I don't know where it went. It's gone now, it's out of the way. I don't really care. Oh, there it is. Once you get this four pin plug out of the way, uh, I think this one was also attached to it from there, so you can go ahead and take that off. Uh, but yeah, this whole, that right there is your evaporator. The whole thing is pretty much just sitting there now that you remove that bolt from inside the engine bay. Uh, this will also take some persuasion. You just got to pull back on this a little bit and then as gentle as you can uh, Just kind of wiggle that out without messing anything up and that'll be how you do that I'll show you what it looks like once again. Right, so one thing I did notice is right in the center uh, On the bottom of that evaporator. There's like a little slot. You could put a flathead in So I'm put it in ever so slightly lift up and you'll be able to Kind of wiggle this all out. It's a really tight fit. But once you do that, oh shoot, don't let the Freon and oil and stuff leak out everywhere. But once you do that, you basically got the entire evaporator out and we can get to the expansion valve, which is right there. So, Yep, that's what it looks like. There's your evap. That's what it should look like uh, from inside. Once you have everything out of the way, big old hole. All right, uh, something I will recommend too when you go to pull your uh, evaporator out. Uh, if you have rubber floor mats, please put them down right before you pull that out. Uh, I don't know if if you care about your carpet a lot, because some of the oil might drip on the carpet. I had a little bit drip on here. I just wiped it up with a paper towel. Uh, that is something to keep in mind. So if you are following along with this video, I hope you didn't already just take it out. You probably did, but um, get some rubber floor mats or something uh, to kind of block everything, you know, from hitting your carpet. So, All right, so we have this insulation around the expansion valve that we got to take off. So you're just going to grab it from the side, just kind of peel it back like that, and it'll help break it free. And once you get that all off, you can then go ahead and take off the valve. It's just a little easier to do it while it's still connected to the evaporator. And we'll just kind of slide down onto the lines. Then we can pull these two 
Allen's out. And that'll basically be it. That's pulling the whole thing off. Alright, so I don't have any Allens that are this size uh, on me right now. Uh, but if you're in a pinch, a T25 will definitely work. Uh, just keep in mind this is like a last resort option. I wouldn't recommend doing this if you have the right tools. Uh, I also do just recommend getting the right tools to begin with. I don't want to run to my, uh, my other garage and go get the tools. So I'm just going to use this. comes out easy. Just got to be careful you're not stripping it. If it's starting to strip, just don't even, don't even try it. So, but these bolts look healthy and they generally are. And they're not too bad. So you'll just pull that off just like this. So once those are off, Come on now. Should be able to just kind of wiggle this free. Get to the top of these threads. Nope, that one's out all the way. That one's out all the way. Yep, you just gotta persuade it a little bit. Get it to come out. Sometimes they're a little stubborn. That's normal. There it goes. So yep, that's those two right there. Take these, put them to the side. You also have this piece right here. Do not lose this. You will need this. And then you can take your little cover, put it to the side. You will need that, so do not destroy it. And don't lose it. So, same with that. And these guys right here so yep that's the old one it honestly doesn't look too terribly bad uh, this side is maybe a little dirty in here but that's about it all right so I finally got the part in it only took forever but that's all right if you guys need the part number from Napa uh, let's see it's right here 207564 or the regular part number which is 39007 that part number comes back as something else but for some reason the Napa one is fine so I don't know what the deal is but it comes with the expansion valve obviously and some o-rings that we're gonna need to replace um, so it's got them on both sides so we got some for this side and some for the side that's in the engine bay out there um but yep so we're gonna get to putting these on i'm just gonna take these old o-rings off i'm not even gonna inspect them and make sure they're good i'm just gonna go ahead and use the new ones since i have them so yeah all right so i just got the o-rings put on and i looped them up i just tipped the evaporator over and poured some of the uh the oil out and just lube those up uh, in case any of you were wondering that's what the part number looks like on there just to make sure uh and this only goes on one way so I'll probably lube this inside up as well. And I'll push this on, then that piece goes underneath. That'll hold this evaporator. Uh, oh my gosh. I'll hold this expansion valve on the evaporator um, and keep it from falling off. And then we can go ahead, reinstall this, and everything is basically gonna be the reverse of disassembly. All right, so just push the expansion valve on. Slide this underneath, so in case y'all don't know how that goes, it just goes on like this. And you slide it up. Those holes will line up right there. And then you just put the bolts through them. And it's all tightened on there. Should look like that. Uh, when you are installing this, make sure that the uh, O-rings aren't going to roll over, or they don't roll over, that it slides on without any trouble. And then you can just take your... Uh, insulator right here and this will just slide back over I can't do it one-handed well, maybe I can but should just slide over just like so and pretty much look the way it did before you took it apart and that should be good to go and we can put this 
back in the vehicle after we replaced those last two o-rings on the engine bay side of the the AC lines so yep and that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, that helped you out getting your AC back up and running because it is getting hot this summer man like we're seeing triple digits for the first time in a while so hopefully you guys get yours up and running and that helped you out uh, like I said before the installation is the exact same as taking everything apart so if you knew how to take it apart you can put it back together and it's pretty simple uh, that little uh, rubber insulation piece that goes around the expansion valve uh, there's two little slots on it uh, and that plastic piece that you took out with the four pin connector uh, that will have to slide back in there but you'll see that once you start putting it back together uh, but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you liked it hit the like button if you didn't like it hit the dislike button but go in the comments and tell me what you didn't like about the video so uh, but yeah subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this it'll be a little slower going from here on out but you know we're still going to keep content coming out at least at least once in a while so but uh anyways you guys have a good one and stay chilly